All right. So today we're talking about the Apple Vision Pro. All right. I saw a video about this the other day. I kind of decided to ignore it. I usually do that with new trends. I don't really know why. It's just kind of like a habit because it's just, I feel like it's a fad, right? It's, <coughs> it's never going to get any better. But um, now I've been seeing it a lot more on my For You page and even on YouTube and whatever else. So the Apple Vision Pro is going to be available, right, to the general public very soon, if not you know, it's probably already available to people that are VIP status, right? The Apple Vision Pro is $3,499, okay? That's how much That's how much the Apple Vision Pro is. The mixed reality headset that looks like a pair of ski goggles, you know, probably, I don't know if it's very uncomfortable or comfortable, but it looks like it's probably going to be pretty uncomfortable for a long period of time of wearing them. Kind of like these headsets, they're pretty uncomfortable after a while of wearing them. After a full day, a full 18-hour day of gaming, these get pretty uncomfortable. They start to hurt your ears. I mean, I also have I also have big ears. So, um, you know, that's that's kind of the thing here that I'm looking at, right? So, and by the way, just just FYI, um, Facebook or Meta, uh, they they bought Oculus not too long ago, and they actually released a new headset. It was the Quest four and at three quarters i don't know exactly which one it was i don't really care uh oculus was great before meta bought them and then meta bought them and i kind of just didn't really care anymore i think that's kind of what happened as a general consensus of the actual space but uh apple right apple seemed to um to create their own headset now and um i think that it's going to be a um a game changer right nobody seemed to care about the meta oculus release just just fyi i think that was kind of like a uh, g- again a general consensus of the public in saying well uh fuck you meta don't care and uh, also the fact that they don't pay their uh, their um creators very well anymore and yeah i was kind of upset about that too i did i was posting videos on there for a while same thing with snapchat wasn't really making any money i got like 2000 something followers on snapchat uh deleted that that account don't care and then I also posted a lot on YouTube, or uh, sorry, on Instagram and Facebook. And first, like couple weeks, was like amazing, right? Got like six, six, seven thousand views of video, something like that. Crazy amount of views. Then all of a sudden, it started dying, and I was like, "All right, done. Don't don't care." Anyway, the, the Apple Vision Pro. So the first mixed reality headset out there that uh, is going to cost over a thousand dollars. And which to me is insane. I mean, I guess maybe mixed reality might be a little bit more in demand uh, than the virtual reality. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I, I I think Meta really missed their mark with the whole virtual reality and uh, mixed reality thing because uh, virtual reality is a movie, really, in, in, in this in this point. And mixed reality is something that we're going to probably end up having uh, more of the future for. So you can pretty much use this mixed reality headset. Use uh, the Vision Pro. Um, in case you haven't noticed, I watched uh, Dylan Page. I also have another video lined up by, um, I want to say Zef Gaming, but I might be wrong. Let's see. Is this is this Zef Gaming? Just- yes. So Zef Gaming and then also uh, Dylan Page. So if you guys haven't checked out those very small creators on TikTok, you should go ahead and do that. Why does my hair look like that? Okay, I didn't shower today. I'll admit that. So anyway, let's move back to uh, to <laughs> let's move back to the <laughs> um. So uh, yeah. So essentially, you can pretty much do anything that you want with this headset. And I'm gonna kind of show you guys this video on uh, what Dylan Page said about it, and we're gonna kind of talk about each individual feature and why it's you know. I don't know why the hell it's four thousand three three thousand dollars. It's gonna be almost four with tax. Just saying. Apple has just stunned the world by releasing the first look at their new augmented reality headset called Vision Pro. And honestly, if this does everything they say it can do, this could change everything. Firstly, when you put on this headset, you're essentially taking all the screens that are usually fixed to your iPhone or your laptop and putting them. So you never have to look down. You will. You will never have to look down. Uh, from your, I guess, headset at this point. You'll never have to look down, pull out your phone. You can just do it all from your headset. But my question is, does it, so it connects to your phone then in that case. And there's really no specific details yet on that, but it probably connects to your phone. So you're still doing stuff on your phone. It says, it's, he eventually says, which again, I thought that they would do it. It connects to all your devices 
throughout your life so you can just kind of you know use just the headset and bring everything in in one place them into reality at any size in any location. It's called mixed reality because you can see the world just like these were normal regular ski goggles. But then if you want to quickly Google something, let's say, you swipe your finger, navigate with your eyes, type with your voice, and just like that, you've got a massive crystal clear screen in front of you that only you can see. It's essentially changing the way that humans interact with technology. The same way that we went from using buttons to using touch screen. And this could be that next big change. Now to make sure the people using this headset on disconnected from the world when someone else enters the room the headset detects that and reveals your so it reveals your eyes too which which i mean i guess is kind of cool um being able to detect somebody in the room I, i'm guessing that uh when you're on a plane it'll do the same thing like you're gonna probably end up using these on on a plane too who knows if it'll, if it'll take the plane down if you don't have it on on airplane mode but um I, I think that the that this that this real this this mixed reality headset is going to be a game changer um in this in this whole endeavor. So I know that Meta, Facebook Meta, hasn't really been doing much in the space. They've just been talking about the metaverse, which at the end of the day is really not realistic. Um I think a lot of people saw Ready Player One or how the metaverse was going to really affect our daily lives. And then pe people said, you know what? I'd rather just be in my real life doing these types of things. So I think that what Apple did here was actually take a good... I mean, this this application for gaming is is insane. But <clears throat> I, I, I think they took the one step that Facebook kind of missed. And then they just took it a bit further, right? So even gaming on like your laptop or whatever is going to be crazy now because of these mixed reality glasses. Like you're going to be able to game wherever you want. I mean, this is going to take Pokemon go on a whole new go. If you know what I mean? Or I so that you can see them and they can see you. And it's cheeky bastard proof because if you start trying to use it on the slide, the front of the headset lights up like this. When traveling, instead of staring at this tiny airplane screen, you can watch a movie so in a hundred foot theater on another planet. When you're at work and your back's breaking from sitting down at your desk, you can stand breaking. up and walk around while still working. When you want to relive a moment, you can use Apple's first ever 3D camera and begin re-experiencing your memory. So, I'm feeling that this is somehow a way of control. So, I don't really know what to think about this. But, <clears throat> um, that's kind of crazy when you think about it. Like, the fact that you can, like, relive me memories in 3D. Uh, that's, like, some fucking sci-fi shit right there. But go on. You can play video games, you can meditate and align your chakras on a whole nother level. You can FaceTime with your friends. Although what they'll be seeing is a 3D animation of your face, which is creepy and amazing at the same time. I already know fashion people are going to turn this thing into the latest drip. And of course, classic Apple, you can seamlessly connect to all of your devices, like a keyboard, iPhone, laptop, all just by going near them. But this is like some Tony Stark Apple, shit. Here's the cat. The starting price is a whopping $3,500. And it's... So the mixed reality portion of this is kind of like Tony Stark, right? So it's like kind of like you know the the the, the Marvel universe where you can kind of like take my screen and just kind of put it up above it and whatever else you can start moving around and using your fingers to do stuff. <clears throat> um, that is the future, in case you're wondering. So, uh, but for thirty five hundred bucks, um, listen, phones are already up to a thousand dollars, right? So. Phones are already up to a thousand dollars, and uh, they're just going to go. Probably going to get more expensive. So, I think thirty five hundred dollars is a lot of money. Um, in reality, it's not based off of the tra the trajectory of of what a of how Apple products are going. Um, I, I what I what I do honestly see as a major issue here is. Not everyone is going to be able to afford this thing. Now, there's going to be people that are going to obviously take out a loan and do what you do with your phone, where it's like you pay $63 a month or whatever for, you know, for two years to kind of pay off your phone. So this will probably be like 100 bucks a month for like two years or whatever, um, right? Two years, 24 months. 100 would be, no. So you'd probably be like 125 a month or so, I believe. Something like that. So... <clears throat> So under about 125 or so dollars a month for this this headset, right? I don't think that there's going to be like um, 
a major demand for for this in, in the in the beginning. Um, but definitely Apple diehard Apple people are going to be buying this headset and being like, oh my god, it's the brand new thing. It's so great. Like that's what's going to happen. So I'm hoping that my wife isn't one of them. <clears throat> I'm definitely not going to be one of them. I, I I like Apple products, but I I don't love Apple products. Like this camera is an is an, is like an iPhone eight or something, and then this camera is like an iPhone ten or 11 sorry pro max so and i've had this phone for like five six years like i i haven't got a new phone in a very long time so that's what i'm working with all right this this is a work phone uh, you know it is what it is so i'm gonna be honest with, with you um this this will be bought by the diehard apple fans 100 percent once it first com- comes out once it's available to public it'll, it'll it'll first come out let me actually check is this available yet or is this just like people are just talking about it Apple Vision Pro release date. Q1 of 2024. So next year. So, yeah. So Q1 of 2024, it will be released. So, um, I I don't, I, I really do kind of feel for the people that really want this because I can tell you right now, they're going to release this. Like, this isn't like Tesla, right? Like, where the Cybertruck was, rele- was like announced three years ago. Like, this is coming out probably next year, right? And people already, like, m- like the the majority of millennials and, like, people that are probably are going to buy this probably can't even afford, you know, like, their next month's rent. But yet, they're going to probably get this mixed reality headset because they have an Apple computer. They have an Apple, uh, you know, phone. They have an Apple iPad, you know, wh- whatever. But... And and just so you, just so I'm clear, this is not an Apple. This is this is a this is a Alienware gaming PC. Again, I've had this for like probably five, four or five years now. I'm once this shits the bed, I'll probably be buying something new. That's maybe a desktop. I'm not going to be buying another laptop. I feel like laptops just aren't strong enough any any anymore, especially for games like Call of Duty and whatever else. But <coughs> excuse me, I'm like I, I got something in, in my throat today. It's not a dick. The um, the the Apple Vision Pro is going to be a game changer, but it's going to be it's going to cost an arm and a leg for a lot of people, and I'm not going to be the one of the people that buys this most likely. A lot of other people kind of buy it and see its flaws and its magical tricks, but at the end of the day, what I what I really wanted to talk about on this podcast episode today was the fact that. Tesla needs to make something like this. Like they're they're making a phone. So Tesla's making a phone. I don't remember what the release date was. I don't even know if they even have have one. Tesla phone. Oh, release date. I already looked this up. Yes, I have. There's oh you can't see it. My my thing's in front of it. Future, but there's no re- reason to believe it'll happen in French. We currently have releasing a phone. The the uh, the phone the Tesla phone will cost probably about as much as the Apple phone will or about as much as the Apple phone will. Um, I don't know all the details of it. I saw it one day and I was got really excited because I was kind of just like, yeah, I kind of want a Tesla phone now. This is like I th- I I, th- I think this is like concept art. I I don't know if this is actually what it looks like. It's gonna look similar to the okay. It's gonna look similar to the um to the uh, the iPhone like eleven or twelve where it has like three or four. It's going to have four, um, this, this is an iPhone. It's going to have, I think it's going to have, this is like, I think actually what it's going to look sim, 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 similar to. Um, but I don't know why he would release, why they would release a Tesla phone. I, 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 I guess maybe to like interlock or connect with their, with, with their cars. Um, uh, because obviously like there's an app for it right, right now, uh, on, on the Apple store and even on the Android store. Um, so I think that might be. It's called the Model Pi. That's funny. If that's really what it is, that's hilarious. The Model Pi. Wow, that's not that. They're not. Ju- I was like, is that the Pi symbol? Tesla Model Pi, twenty 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 two. I I I think it might be released maybe like next year or the year after. But they have got a lot of projects com- coming out. So what they need to do is they need to do a virtual reality headset and then create like a car or at least maybe integrate their other cars with it. So you can just drive like using like your headset. Like you just kind of sit there and just drive with your eyes, with your, with your eyeballs. Like you're like this, you're like, you're like that. And then you go right, you know, or something. I don't know. You're like, you're like that. And then you go right, like, like that. 
you know? I, I don't know. That's left, it looks like, on the camera, but I'm going right, I swear. So, um, yeah, I mean, I definitely think that Tesla uh, should be releasing, like, a mixed reality head, headset. I, I think that that's, that's going to that's gonna definitely cause uh, some really good competition between both Tesla and Apple, so that Apple maybe will take their price down, because let's be honest, Apple's going to be overpriced because it's, it's Apple, you know, and... Even Teslas are overpriced, but that's because there's really no one that really does what they do very well. You know, they have like the fastest cars, the best driving cars. Like you can see, you can say whatever you want. If you have never test drove a Tesla, you honestly have no idea what you're missing. Like a Tesla is a very good car. And if Apple makes a car, which I think Apple is going to make a car, I don't know when. I I saw a couple of videos on it. Again, concept art probably, but uh, they're probably going to make a car too eventually. Um, <clears throat> same thing. It's going to integrate with everything, yada yada yada. But yeah, imagine using your like seventeen or eighteen inch like laptop as like a touch screen on on your fucking on on your on your on your Apple car. Anyway, anyway um, yeah, I I I really I really think that it's going to be a good invention and kind of bring us into the next realm of like gaming and uh and definitely gaming like. Man, I, the only problem is that we need like we need like a good we, we need like a good mixed reality headset for like you know like regular PCs, not just like Macs, because like most people don't play games on Macs. How let's actually look this up. How many people actually play video games on Macs? How many people? What the fuck? How many people? Hold on, something just came up. Oh. I was like, what the, it says, how many people are in the world, how many people are in the world, I was like, I was like, that number is big, I was like, what number is that for, alright, how many people play video games on their MacBook, or Mac computer, seriously, there are many more people playing games on their Windows, laptops, and desktops than Mac OS, yeah, so like, Dot com study done in 2014 it found over 96% of Steam. Let's move this so you guys can read it. You can pause it and read it. A Steam laptop ga gamers run, run a Windows machine. So 96% of people are, are, are on laptops and desktops of Windows descent. The other two, the, the other 4% is Mac OS and Linux. Right? So there needs to be something that comes out. Because Oculus roarly effed up because they went to go, you know, sell their, like, gold mine of a, of a company to somebody like fucking Meta. Which, I mean, maybe, again, they could have been pressured, I don't know. And if they were, fuck Meta even more than, than in general. But... I was really rooting for Oculus. I really was. I'm gonna be honest with, with you. I was really root, rooting for. I was gonna get an Oculus, and then I and then I heard that they were bought out by Meta, and then I started seeing commercials about it. Like, oh yeah, get an Oculus headset and get like three games for free. And I'm like, yo, Facebook's drowning, dude. <laughs> Facebook is fucking drowning. So I don't know. I I uh, I think that that was a really bad move for the, for, especially for for the VR space because if you go on like Google or if you go on any kind of like statistic web website and you kind of like look for how many people are searching for VR or like Oculus or whatever, the number has gone down significantly over time. And I'm gonna be honest, that's a real issue because at the end of the day, I really want to see. Um, you know, Ocu I really wanted to see Oculus take off and like, I, you know, just VR in general take take off and then um, eventually get into mixed reality. But it's, it's almost like we've skipped the VR train and we've kind of like gone straight to mixed reality. And again, I think that's because of Meta and I think that's because of them buying out Oculus. Because again, I saw, I saw Oculus as being the dominant player in the space and then some large company just took it over and now it's just a fucking other stick in the mud, which is the problem. So, somebody needs to kind of make something that's for Windows, that's going to connect to your Windows laptop, and just be able to work. Like, I mean, because, again, a lot, of, a lot of computers are running Windows. Like, a lot of different computers. Like, there's Linux, there's Alienware, like, Dell, all that. Like, all this stuff is running Windows, right? So, that's an operating system. So, we need people, well, like, we need somebody that can, like, connect that and connect all, like, Android devices to it, like... Mac is obviously going to be able to do that. The Apple's going to be able to do that because they they have the devices that are all running the same I, I, iOS. 
So it's they're all running the same uh, operating system. So you, so you're you're going to be able to do that with your product that you're making for a specific audience, right? So that's going to happen regardless. That's the same thing with Tesla, right? So if they make so if they make a phone and then they make a mixed reality headset, they're going to be able to connect to your car and the phone. And if they make a laptop, same thing. It's like that's the thing is like they're all these brands, these large brands are kind of taking over all the spaces because they're able to do that with their own operating systems. Apple's Apple's going to probably make a car and it's going to be the same thing. So that's it's a good thing and it's a bad thing because but like now the problem is with that they can charge whatever they want. Like somebody that has competition is for like there's there's not going to be another company that's going to make a headset for like Apple, right? They'll make it to maybe connect to like this, you know, using Swift, that's a programming language to, to connect to your device. But like, they're not going to be in direct competition with Apple because Apple, you can connect all of your devices with it. That's why they can charge wh- whatever they want. But if somebody makes something as far as like connects to all Windows laptops and then, you know, makes you integrate with Steam and be able to play all your games from one place and, you know, you can like, you know, use your mixed reality headset to, you know, play your games on, you know, and play in like whatever device you want. You know, you can like, I don't know, like you, your phone and whatever else. There's going to be competition for, for, for that. Like there's going to be people that are going to make different headsets for that because they can. But like a private company owning the car, the laptop, the phone, the mixed reality headset, they can charge whatever they want because their their code and their operating system isn't like, they're not open source. So you, so like you can't change that. Like you can't change, you can't make products for that. So they're, they're going to charge whatever the hell they want to do. So if you want to connect all of your devices, it could be $5,000 in the future. Like that headset could all of a sudden now have like two separate versions where the better version is, you know, 5,000 something dollars. And then the bat, the shitty version is like a thousand two hundred, you know, you can only connect two devices on it. Like they could do whatever they want. That's my point. That's, that's what I've been preaching about for a while now. It's like these companies can do whatever they want whenever they're making these, these things because they're, they can make it specific for their own products. Which is not good for us, because if you want to connect all your devices, if you if you're an Apple guy, now you got to pay, you know, now you got to pay, uh, you know, four uh, three thousand. But it's almost gonna be it's gonna let's be honest, it's gonna be like almost four thousand dollars with tax and everything. It's gonna probably be like thirty eight hundred, thirty nine hundred something after taxes, right? So you're paying pretty much for you're they're 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 labeling it at at thirty thirty four ninety nine, right? Three thousand four hundred ninety nine. It, it's that is the tactic if I've ever seen one. Like it's gonna be over six, like probably seven hundred, th- th- thirty seven hundred, with taxes, right? So, and then you're gonna have to do a payment plan. So you're gonna be paying again one hundred and twenty five, one hundred forty dollars a month for two or three years to try to pay it off. So you're not really gonna escape this. Like you, if you want that headset, you're gonna be paying an arm and a leg for it. At the end of the day, that's that's the that's the bad thing about this, right? I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm being too much of a little baby back bitch about it. That could be it too. But at the end of the day, I do not want you guys to like really go for something like like this. Especially if you're a Mac user, especially if you're an Apple user. I want you to think for yourself here. I want you to like really think this one through. Like yes, but especially for gaming, like what's the point of it? Right? Cuz like we just saw here like 96% of people are on wi- wi- a Windows machine. If you're that one Mac, if you're like that part of that 2% Mac player, like unless you have a ton of friends around you, do not buy this headset. Do not do not buy it cuz it's going to be a waste of your money. 100%. That that is my that is my advice to you for the day. I do appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great rest of your week cuz this is probably going to be posted on a Thursday. But don't forget to like it, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to uh, share with, with 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 a friend because, I mean, we're just getting started on, on this podcast. We're, we're going to be doing a lot of shit talking. We're going to be doing a lot of, you know, just like news in general, but mostly about gaming. This one really wasn't 100% about gaming, but I definitely, I definitely wanted to relate this back to gaming and say like, you know, you're not going to be able to really... You know, use this unless you're like a Mac gamer, which is a which is two percent of the world's population, right? So, don't waste your money if you don't have to, right?